Hey everybody, Brett from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another episode of our Total War Attila Western Roman Empire campaign. So we're starting off today with a fresh turn, and it looks like the Huns uh, have failed in their attempt to encourage some dissent in one of our provinces, and the agent who attempted it has been wounded. Um, it looks like the other agent was successful, however. Uh, Appius Odo's term in office has ended, so we'll need to reappoint him if we haven't already. Um, let's see, she has failed, somewhat failed in her attempt to, um, secure Appius Odo's loyalty. I will go ahead with a small bribe to boost him up to 7 without spending a huge sum of influence because 30 is a lot. So I'll spend the 15 to get 1 loyalty rather than just outright losing some control because our uh, power right now is not great. Okay, let's see, looks like they were both able to secure office, which is fantastic, and the feast has resolved in contentment, which is going to give us plus five public order for three turns, fantastic. And it looks like another person successfully uh, made their appointment, so great. No influence needed to be spent on that. Um, it looks like Vindonius Magnus has gotten the household item carrier pigeons and that's actually pretty good minus five oh it's for port buildings not just buildings in general uh, but plus 10% from commercial buildings so uh, maybe not for him but for a province or a governor of a province with a lot of uh, ports this would be fantastic because uh, all the port buildings would be cheaper and any trade jetties we build will net us a bit more than they would otherwise uh, and it looks like he's also leveled up, so we'll take care of that in a second. But the first thing I want to do is move our armies around. Um, over here, in the area we've been having the most trouble, the Huns have re-emerged and scared off the Macedonians and the Dacians. Uh, it's unfortunate, because if they'd worked together, that would have been a pretty easy victory for them. But they have completely uh, abandoned it. And these Huns will take attrition from the, you know, the snow, but probably not enough to make a huge difference here so that might be a battle that we are gonna have to fight very soon um, Titus Polo's Legion is gonna get out of force march stance and let's see you guys are no longer in force march as well can you recruit any new range troops over here no so we're still stuck with the mercenary archers for the time being but uh, we'll try to get rid of them eventually I'd like to get every legion to Balistari if I can help it. Uh, let's see, over here, you guys are holding fast. We could use some more cavalry, but I uh, don't see that happening anytime soon. Meanwhile, you guys are going to march on into Londinium. They'll take a little bit of attrition on the way there, but that's fine by me. And then we're going to disband... Hmm... Let's see, definitely you guys. You can go. Uh, I'll probably merge together these two and these two. And then I'll disband the smaller ones. And again, the intent is to replace most of the spears with pikes. And then we'll march them north to Lindum where they'll get some Balistari. And then I think it's just a matter of finding some more mercenary cavalry that uh, we deem suitable. These guys are not terrible for the money, so I think I'll grab them. And then, of course, if we find something better later, we can disband them. But given that they're fairly cheap, I think it's a worthy investment. Uh, just to make sure that we have some cavalry. They are pretty fast, so at the very least we have you know that to rely on. And if, uh, again, we find something better, then we just cut them loose, because they didn't cost us all that much. Um, someone also had pointed out that uh, it might be easier for me to just conquer all of uh, the British Isles here, rather than, you know, leaving a legion to defend it. Even if I did that, though, I'd probably still need a legion around here, just to ensure that, you know, we don't face rebellions or anything from, uh, you know, anything sailing over here and attacking. But um, rather than outright conquering them, my intent, or at least uh, I was hoping to maybe subjugate the two remaining factions 
in the hopes that if I can, you know, eventually get them to be on friendlier terms with me so that they don't abandon us, uh, I could get them to commit their armies to, you know, my cause. Because as you guys probably well know by now, these small little settlements do not gain me all that much if I were to take them. So, like, Eblana, for example, would net me at most probably the the 13 or so hundred gold per turn that you're seeing right there which is about three or four units in an army whereas uh the abdanians themselves in holding that can have you know probably about two stacks worth of troops so if i subjugate them then i can have them use those two stacks of troops for me rather than you know just training up four new legio or something from that money and the same is true of the picts uh they're making quite a bit from that city and if i subjugated them i could probably uh, get them to settle that as well. And that strength would be far superior to whatever I would gain from holding those myself. So you're doing your job there. We've got a new legion holding Colonia Agrippina against any foreign conquest. What else do we have going on here? Um, everything looks pretty good. Let's head down to Africa because we had some legions down there. Um, unfortunately... I'm still really concerned about moving this guy because I don't want him to to uh, die from attrition. I don't know if it's possible. I assume it would be. I, I've never tested it, to be honest. But um, I would like to get this Legion back across here, if I can. Let's see. I think that route may have prevented us from taking some attrition. No, we still took some. But there seems to be a limit as to how much attrition you can take. Anyways, we're going to start sending this legion west because we do eventually want to uh, conquer this faction here. And secure that entire province. And then uh, eventually we'd like the Garamantians to conquer this as well. And so they don't seem to have any interest in taking this. We'll see if they do now that it's been raised to the ground. But uh, when it was held by rebels, they, they refused to pay any attention to it. So we'll see. Right, so with all of the legions moved around as needed... You guys are going to stay here, by the way. Uh, we should actually check on mercenaries. Unfortunately, none of the ones that we need. We just need the defectors at the moment. Defectors and some artillery that isn't insanely expensive. Um, none of those seem to be regularly available, though. Yeah, that's not going to help us any. <clears throat> oh well, this arm or this legion's ready to go. Um, they should have no problem defeating that faction off to the west by themselves. Although uh, I've made that mistake in the past, so we'll see. However, uh, the biggest mistake we had down in Africa was that we were using Roman troops that are not uh, resistant to desert attrition, whereas now we're relying strictly on mercenaries that all have resistance. The only issue is our, our general units are obviously taking a ton of attrition as they move, but that can't really be helped. So let's see. Um, everything seems to be doing really, really well in terms of public order. We are still having the occasional squalor issue, but it's not that bad. A 2% chance for an outbreak is, you know, not much. And eventually I'd like to build sanitation buildings in each capital city as well. Um, generally, one, one uh, sanitation building in a single settlement and then one in the, uh, the main city is enough to carry the whole province. You don't need one in every settlement. But uh, that, that varies depending on other things you have built. So let's see, you guys are doing just fine. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of money to be spent here and a lot of provinces to go through. So I will uh, make a cut here, try to allocate the funds in the settlements as I see fit, and then I'll come back because that can get very, very tedious and I imagine a bit boring on camera. Okay, I've spent just about all the money we had. I'm going to jump into the faction screen here and see about who needs to be reappointed to what office. Uh, Appius Odo does not have enough influence to get into another position, so that'll be a little while. Um, everybody else is seeming to be just fine. 
not a whole lot of people ready to move, it looks like. And just when we've been able to clear some spots, finally, uh, it looks like Lucius Ambustus needs an appointment, so we'll put him at military count. And uh, Appius Brutus, we'll go ahead and make you a count as well. Now, let's look at our family here. So Publius Potitus uh, does not have enough influence to do anything yet. His wife has a ton of influence, though. And we may have her secure loyalty again, since she's the only one that really has any at all. Um, these children are finally getting close to coming of age. Let's see, Agunthus. Since she's still part of our faction, I could have her marry somebody else. Uh, let's see, arrange a marriage. Appius Brutus is a statesman, and I could make him a... Could make him a, um, governor if I so chose. Or I could marry her to Appius Corvus, who... Uh, is actually roughly the same age as her. And he's a governor as well, so... That might be a good play, actually. I don't think he has enough influence to block it either at 11. So I'm going to do it, because that could get us more power, which is something we desperately need. Uh, before I do that, though, let's scroll up a bit and just see what our other options are. So we have Gaius Basilis, who is more loyal, uh, but he's a general, and generals are... They run hot and cold in terms of uh, influence. We also have quite a few people toward the top here, including Secundus Scivola, Vindonius Crassus. He's a governor, so he might make a good choice. Um, these guys are a bit old, but you are a governor of Africa, no less. Africa is a pretty important territory for us. You're a general, so less than ideal. Um, so I'm thinking either Vindonius Crassus or Appius Corvus. I'll probably go with Appius. Let's go ahead and do that. So she's going to attempt to marry him. I don't know what that's going to do to Bacchus. He'll probably just disappear somewhere. Uh, Marinus is still waiting to level up so that he can become Master of Offices. Titus Polo is waiting on some more influence so that he can become Supreme Commander or something. And that is pretty much it. Oh, Serena can uh, remarry as well. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. We'll wait. Let's see what this does for us. If it's a significant boost, we may do it here as well. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know for sure yet. And you're no longer of our faction, so you're irrelevant. Uh, what about the Empress, Theodora? Only 31 influence, so that's not going to help me all that much. All right. I think that's good there. Let's jump into Diplomacy and take a look at uh, all the factions we're dealing with. Our relations are very, very minorly improving with the Alamans, uh, but at least they're going in the right direction. We're at war with all those guys, the Bastarnians uh, deteriorating, but that's not really that much of a concern for me. Again, all I care about is the trade agreement with them. The Burgundians, uh, things are improving with them, but not by much. Could I get I them to join a war against the Huns, perhaps? My ears. They actually somewhat like the Huns. I, I would have thought they'd hate them like everybody else, but apparently not. Hmm. Well, I'll leave it be for now. Uh, improving with the Dacians, deteriorating with the Eastern Romans, but it's high enough where that should never end up mattering. The Franks, uh, things are deteriorating slightly, but we already got the defensive alliance with them, so I imagine things will stay pretty high up with them unless something goes really, really badly. Us. Food for two um, let's see. They want me to join a war against the Picts, or at least uh, they would like it if I did. What about you guys joining war against the Geats, no? That's unfortunate. Well, we'll see if we can get that eventually, because the Geats are trespassing on them, so they may change their mind. Uh, relations with the Germantians are holding strong at 20. We'll uh, throw them some money next turn, I think, just to keep things rolling in the right direction. And then I believe we're pretty much at war with everybody else. Oh, things are going great with the Langobards. How about a defensive alliance? Ooh, moderate. Fantastic. Fantastic. So that's another... Uh, 
faction that can help us, you know, stay buffered in that area. What about military access? Oh no! No, 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 I did not mean to do that. Ah, uh, crap. So now we're worth the picks. That was a complete and utter misclick. Rejected there. Um, God damn it. Well, I guess we'll see about subjugating them, won't we? I need to make sure my legion up in that area is ready for it, though. Um, in fact, I think they're the one that's currently getting trained up. So we could uh, be, you know, seeing some major losses in Britannia until we resolve this. Because I don't have anybody up there. We'll see how it goes. I don't think they'll march south during winter. If they do, they're going to set them up, themselves up for disaster. Because I should be able to... Oh, actually, that's a pretty terrible garrison, isn't it? Well, I can get this legion up there next turn so if they march south to attack this we may lose a boricum briefly but i think we'll be able to counter them pretty effectively we'll see how it goes but that was not something i intended to do so that's uh probably gonna end up costing us a little bit but anyways that's gonna be the end of our turn so we'll end it here and we'll see how the hun situation resolves itself and how the pick situation will resolve itself uh meanwhile we're marching west in africa to uh, start another conquest and uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, we have a level up, of course. Um, you are a governor. So anything that will lower construction costs. Uh, free food is nice. Construction costs would be very helpful. Actually, yeah, let's do that first. I'll do two points into that. Um, next level up, we'll do a little bit of food, a little bit of corruption. So... Uh, this may end up working to our benefit here. The Abdanians, who I think until recently were actually at war with the Picts, um, want to join my war against them, and they're willing to off or they're willing to do it for only a hundred gold, which is like nothing. Uh, I'm glad to accept that. I just need to make sure that they don't outright conquer the Picts, or that might, you know, cause problems for us. Okay, so looks like we're having uh, some more hostile agent activity from the Huns. This time they were uh, successful. Uh, we've been issued a mission to be at war with the Getulians. Okay, we have six turns to do that. Uh, and that will give us up to plus 10 public order from the presence of Latin Christianity. I don't know if that's worth it, but we'll see. Uh, looks like Lucius Ambustus was able to secure his office. Fantastic. Appius Brutus was able to as well. Uh, Agunthus succeeded in her marriage. That's fantastic. Uh, let's see how that helped us. Uh, it appears to not have helped us all that much, to be honest. Uh, so where is she? That's not her. That's not her. Um, Agunthus, where are you? Strange. She was here. Uh oh. Did one of um. Oh boy. Did one of our generals just leave? It would appear so. So that was a bit of a mistake. I thought she was still part of our faction, but apparently she wasn't. And marrying her to somebody else in our faction uh, caused her to leave with him. So, that is really unfortunate. Hmm. Well, can't be helped now. So, we lost a governor. It looks like Publius Simacus is going to have to step in there unless Brutus is a decent governor, which he's not. So, the question then becomes, where... Where did I just leave a giant gap? So sort by um, wealth. And uh, it's going to be really difficult to remember these in order. I wish there was a way to sort the, the provinces here. I guess I'll just have to remember some of the more prominent ones. So if I sort it by... Italia, Galatia, Africa, Aquitania, Liguria... Yeah, I'm never going to remember all these. Right, well, um, let's see. Narbonesis. Aquitania was up there, and they don't have one. So that would be 
an easy choice. Pannonia, Dardania, Thracian, no. Hmm. That was up there as well. Let's start with Aquitania. So, um, you being a landowner, I'm going to put you... Oh, is it already sorted? No, it's not. It's not. That's the amount it cost me. Okay. So, Aquitania. And then, since you are a merchant, you would be a decent governor as well. I'm going to put you in charge of Galatia, because that was pretty high up the list, too. It's going to cost me a small fortune to do that, but whatever. We have two new governors now. And let's see if either of them... Well, actually, I don't think either could be reappointed, because we don't have any room for them yet. And they don't have the ability to go into the upper ones this early. Vindonius Magnus is ready for an appointment, so let's move him up the ladder. And since this is all full, I don't think there's really anything else we can do, unfortunately. So we'll just leave that be. Man, I can't believe that totally backfired. Oh well. Um, so that's the end of faction politics. Before I forget, let's throw some money at... Oh, things are really improving with the Alamans. All because of the War with the Picts. Fantastic. They're at War with the Picts too? Yeah. So that actually worked out pretty well, despite it being a complete misclick on my part. Um, the Abdanians, things are also improving with them, since uh, they joined our war against the enemy. Uh, things are improving with the Franks, too. I imagine the war has something to do with it. It does. Apparently nobody likes the Picts. Fantastic. Um, Alright, so Langobards. I would really like military like access with you guys. No. Okay, how about a military alliance? Also no. Well, we'll wait on that a little bit. Things continue to improve with them, so eventually we may be able to pull that off. Um, do I have a war target currently? I do. We'll see if anybody actually acts on it. I think the Macedonians and the Dacians were trying to, and then they got scared or something. What else do we have? Um, that is about it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. No, the whole reason I went in here was to talk to the Germantians. Excuse me. Uh, I intended to throw some cash at them in the form of a gift to continue to improve our relations. Good. Eventually, the military action penalty should go away, so it's just a matter of keeping our relations up until that happens. As it stands now, I think they'll stand by me if somebody declares war on me. Or if we declare war on somebody else. But to be safe, I'll probably avoid that. Um, of course, if we join a war via diplomacy, that doesn't count. But if somebody declares war on us or we declare war on them, they have the ability to potentially leave. And that's something that we would like to avoid, if at all possible. At least until we're locked into a point where we're confident that they will not do that. I'm going to go for public order and food there because those are the two most important things to us at the moment and Lugdenesis finally hit seven population surplus so we can go ahead open this up and start building fountains here and we're going to take this all the way up to get rid of the sanitation issues and then we can focus entirely on Lugdunum uh, we can you know just put all the population surplus into this um, I think what I'm going to do next is now that you have a bunch of pikes, you have four slots left. Let's march you to Aborikum, where uh, if the picks decide to attack, that'll be the first thing they have to go past. I don't think that they'll be aggressive at all here. I think that they're just going to hole up there and stay there. But either way, we needed to be up here because we want to recruit Balistari, and this is the only place nearby to do it. And that will round out this army. Uh, there's no cavalry here that I would want. I already have enough of these guys. So, um, actually, it would have been cheaper for me to hire them here, though. Oh, well. We already got them, and uh, we don't need any more. So, we'll just leave it at that. Now then, uh, you guys just hang out. I should disband... Let's see, is there any better cav here? If any of these make themselves available, I'm going to disband a Legio and recruit them, but otherwise, we'll just stay as is. I do need more than three cav here, though. And I'd like to get rid of these guys, actually. I, I prefer the Germanic Warband, as you guys well know. So, uh, preferably I'd like to get two in here, but I will settle for one. 
just to get me up to four cap. Um, you guys have already converted. I think what I'm going to do now, you've converted as well. Hmm. Where's my other priest? I wonder. I had several priests. Let's see. Because that's something that we need to... Oh, speaking of... I guess that's my other priest, and he is apparently leveled up. So, um, I think I'll just continue to unlock new abilities for him. Something like that. Do I have the ability to recruit more, though? Are we locked at two? Let's find out. Because I could certainly use... No, we can do up to three. I don't need public order anywhere, but I would like to convert more... Actually, boosting our tax rate would be pretty useful. Hmm. So where is the wealthiest? It's Africa. Okay. Because 3% of the biggest number is obviously the biggest bonus. So it's got to be Africa or Aquitania. Those are by far... Oh, wait, no. It's, maybe not. They weren't sorted. Actually, no. We could drop one right next to Rome. Yeah, let's do that. So Rome, if you wouldn't mind, can you recruit... Uh, Eutropius here. He is the tax guy, right? Yeah. Um, plus one public order for that. That's actually pretty good as well. And he's young, too. But for now, we're going to do the tax bonus. So recruit him, and on the next turn, we'll have him uh, just basically sit here, inspire populace, and uh, make us more money. Also, the, uh, the religion here is not nearly as Christian as I would have thought. It's actually lower here than just about anywhere else. So, uh, his presence should help with that, too. Now then, um, let's head back on over here. And I believe all of our neighboring factions in this area are Christian. Right? The Franks... I thought the Franks converted. Apparently the Franks did not convert. So I'm going to send this priest up to them. To, uh... I, I swear the Franks are Catholic. Let's find out. I, I was pretty sure that they converted, and that's why our relations with them turned around. They did, but their populace is not very Catholic. So, um, let's get our priest over there and turn that around, since he's just kind of standing around anyways, and the Alamans seem to um, have things going pretty well for them. Let's see. They don't have any Latin Christian buildings, though. Maybe they'll build one in their final... Uh, building slot or something. That would be nice. It may also be worth... Uh, that. That's kind of awkward. I was hoping to have them conquer a bit more land, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. So we'll see. But um, yeah, I need to keep these guys Christian because that's going to keep our relations up. Now, the Huns seem to have retreated. The Macedonians seem to be going after them again. So we'll see what happens there. I don't have any way of dealing with these um, these Hunnic shamans at the moment, but hopefully uh, we will eventually. Uh, I'll try to work toward you know having the buildings required to do that, even if I have to train them way off somewhere else and um, you know march them well across the map. As long as I can get some champions or spies or something to kill these guys off, that would be fantastic. That said, I'm going to go ahead and cut here to spend a bit more of our money on upgrades, and then I'll come back and we'll resolve this turn. Alright, and that is, uh, for the most part, just about all I can do um, in terms of spending. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. Um, I will do one more quick survey of the map and then end the turn off camera and come back to you guys with another fresh turn in the next episode. So, um... Moving forward, we have War with the Picts to uh, sort of play with here. I, again, would like to subjugate rather than outright conquer them. Although that may cause me problems because there's a lot of factions that, again, hate them. And so we may see relationships uh, suffer a bit by subjugating them. So I'm not quite sure if it is worth doing. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. However, um... I do record these in batches, so I'll try not to act on this at all next episode, just so you guys have some time to weigh in on it. Uh, we're also marching to the west in Africa down here, 
uh, that's this legion. Uh, they're going to march on over to um, probably Tingis here, and then we'll strike on the Marians. Again, my intent is to solidify our control over this entire uh, province. Once we have done that, uh, I would like to start a war with the uh, Gichulians. <clears throat> And my hope is that I can get the Germantians to go conquer them. And because the Germantians are my puppets in trading with me, uh, I will get access to the uh, gemstones here. I already have access to the almonds, but we'll get more this way, and we should be able to make quite a bit of money off of them. And uh, it will strengthen their ability to build armies as well, which could be beneficial uh, if the Eastern Romans collapse in Africa and we have to go conquer the rest of it. So... Aside from that, and waiting on the Huns to decide what to do over here, uh, that's that's pretty much all we've got going on. So, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Total War Attila with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode. <laughs>